Alright, welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi and how to connect to it over Wi-Fi on your local area network. What you're going to need in this video is in addition to the Raspberry Pi that's already configured and hooked up through Ethernet, you're going to need a Wi-Fi dongle. So this is like a $8 Wi-Fi dongle that I picked up off the web. What you're going to want to do is plug in your dongle. There we go, so our dongle is now installed. So my Raspberry Pi is already running. When I plug in the dongle, you can see it in the back right there. So now that we have that set up, the next thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is stuff, start up your uh, VNC server, which you do by patching in through SSH. We type in our password, we're in. If you need to, BNC server 1. So I already have it running. Excellent. In your finder, command K, we're going to BNC into 192.168.22 port 5901. All right. So now we have our desktop set up here. Uh, what you're going to want to do is open up Wi Fi config and you set it to your WLAN zero adapter, you can scan. You scan, you find the internet connection that is yours. Don't go on your neighbor's internet unless you know their key. So I have my uh, connection here. I'm going to double click. It's gonna ask you for your password, which I'm going to type in here. So bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna add that close, connect, and there we go. There we have it. So we are now connected to the Wi-Fi network, uh, as well as through Ethernet here on the Pi. So there are two ways I can connect now, either through the Wi-Fi or through uh, Ethernet to my Pi. Now you see here IP address 192.168.1.78. That happens to be the IP address of my Raspberry Pi on my router. Uh, this is something that you're going to want to change on your router. I can leave it, I already have it set up to uh, be 192.168.178, but the problem is, is if you don't make this static and you try to patch in again at a later time, your router might reassign the IP address to your Pi, and if it does that, then you're going to try and connect and you're not going to know what your IP address is unless you check. Uh, everybody's router is different and I'll show you how to change that in the end, but first I'm going to connect to this IP address and demonstrate that I can actually connect. So I'm here uh, connected through the 192.168.22 IP address. I'm going to exit out of this and then I'm going to SSH into 192.168.1.78. Seventy-eight. Okay, completely different IP address. If I do this, we see it takes quite a bit more time to do. We have our password prompt again, and there we are. Pi at grow pi. Exactly like before, except this time slower, but over Wi-Fi. Screen sharing as well. If I were to close down my screen sharing, I can then. Uh, oops. I can then bring up screen sharing over the 178 uh, IP address. And if I do that, then here we are again, connecting to the Raspberry Pi. Let's say you don't believe me. Well, if I disconnect the ethernet here on the Raspberry Pi, I now only have the power supply and the Wi-Fi connected to the Pi. I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna exit out of this. So everything is disconnected. SSH in again, 192.168.1.78. And type in the password. And here we are connected. So this Wi-Fi setup is good if you're going to embed this into something and you don't have access to an ethernet cord. If you're just mucking around on your Raspberry Pi having fun, then I would use the ethernet connection since it is more stable and faster. Um, 
One thing you will notice though, now, if I go into Finder and I connect to the Pi, is that the internet connection is no longer being routed through your computer. Where's my screen? There we go. Uh, the internet connection is no longer being routed through your computer, but now through your Wi-Fi. And this is important if you want to, say, set up your Raspberry Pi to act as a server that you can talk to over the web, which is a tutorial that I'll be covering in another video. So let's go to a great website, Google. Not connected. Why not? Okay, so how about we try rebooting the Raspberry Pi? So I'm going to shut it down, lose my connection, wait for it to turn off. You know your Raspberry Pi is off because the green light stops flashing and will go completely off. I'm now going to unplug my Raspberry Pi, plug it back in. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi has been rebooted. We're going to log back into it through the Wi-Fi because I do not have the Ethernet cord connected. It prompts for the password. I am able to connect. Excellent. If I shut this down, I... So because I rebooted it, I'm going to have to start up the VNC server again. I'm going to set it up on 1. Okay, we have that set up in Finder. We're going to connect through VNC again. Here we are again. If I open up the internet now, we should be able to load up. All right, and there we have it. So now it's loading up. So I think what happened there was the fact that I removed the ethernet cable, which was the internet connection of the Raspberry Pi, and then tried to access it exclusively through Wi-Fi. So simply by rebooting the Pi, you know, I'm learning something here too. By rebooting the Pi, I am able to get the internet connection. So now I have the Raspberry Pi completely separate from my computer sitting on my network. Now I mentioned that making sure that the IP address of your Pi being static is important, otherwise you're not going to be able to log in. And the reason for it is just that I rebooted my Pi, perhaps it came in as 179, I wouldn't have been able to reconnect. So the way that you go about fixing this is it really depends on what router you have. Uh, for me, the way I would go about doing it is I can access my router, which is at 192.168.1.254. Yours could very well be different. Uh, when, when you log into your router, you will uh, see a bunch of different things. Uh, for me, if I go into the settings and local area network, then I can see the IP address of my GrowPi, as well as all the other uh, things on the network. Now the way that you can set that up to be static is if I go into my IP address allocation, I'm sure you guys will have something similar on your router, uh, you will be able to set the f address to be fixed 192.168.178 if that's the IP address that you want if you save that then the GrowPi every time it connects to the uh, Wi-Fi system will be at that IP address and that way you are always able to connect to it so this is great we can now connect to the Pi over Wi-Fi uh, through our local area network now Something else that's neat that we can do is actually connect to our Pi over the internet. So a completely separate connection and uh, being able to patch in. So you could be at work, let's say, or at somebody else's house and you can access your Pi. And I will show you how to do that in the next video.